I want to talk to you today about something very important in the golf swing. And if you want to be a really good ball striker, it's not only important, it's a must. And that's the angle that we achieve in our right wrist and being able to maintain that angle through impact. And in this video, I'm going to explain to you why we have to have that angle and how to achieve it. So stick with me all the way to the end. Well, if you're a return visitor to my channel, welcome back. If you're new to my channel, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Lots of information here, lots of golf lessons on how to improve your golf game. So let's talk about this bent right wrist. And for you left-handers, it's gonna be a bent left wrist. Now, why do we have to have a bend in that right wrist? Well, that bending of that right wrist allows the golf club to get on this trigger finger of your right hand. When I get to the top of my backswing, I'm pardon my back here, I want you to see this, that golf club is laying right on that trigger finger. And you can see here that my right wrist is bent. Now, that right trigger finger controls the mass of the golf club. So we have to control that mass in the swing. So therefore we have to, in our backswing, get the weight of the club on that trigger finger. And the only way to get the weight of the club on that trigger finger is to bend that right wrist. Now, once we get the weight of the club on that trigger finger, it becomes our job to allow that club head to push back against that finger, having that weight drag on that finger and create the club head lag that we know we have to have in a golf swing, okay? So if you want lag, you have to have a bent right wrist. The weight of that club head must drag on that finger. So there's why. That's why we have to have a bent right wrist in the golf swing. Now, if in the golf swing you early release, you cast, whatever the, 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 the word of the day is for that, you are going to get that right wrist to straighten out and you are going to lose control of the mass of the club. And therefore, when you get to impact, you're gonna have no lag left, okay? Matter of fact, you're probably gonna have a club head that's gonna pass your hands. And that's terrible in golf. So that is why we have to have that bent right wrist. Now, let me show you what you have to do to achieve that right wrist bend, which we achieve in the backswing, but then how to maintain it throughout the swing. So let me show you just one little demonstration here. And you could do this at home. And frankly, I would love for you to do this at home to show you what's necessary to have that bent right wrist. So let's just get set up at a dress normal. Now in our setup position, sorry, I've got long sleeves on today. It's a little chilly out here. I'm trying to push them up a little here so you can see my wrist a little better. When I'm in my address position, that right wrist is pretty much flat. There can be a little bit of bend in it, but not enough. Now, so let's let my wrist do what they're supposed to do in golf. The right one bends, the left one hinges there. Now, look what has happened to the club head when I bent my right wrist. It's moved from behind the ball to back here, almost up to knee high. Now, what am I gonna have to do in order to make that club head come back to that golf ball while I maintain that right wrist? And the answer is this. I have to let my body rotate. So the impact position with my body is not the same as my address position. Address, my hips are square. There's the bent right wrist. Now to get that club back to the ball, my hips, my left hip is clearing out of the way. My chest is rotating forward. Now the buttons on my chest are facing out in front of me and there's the lag in the golf swing. So the answer to how we maintain that bent right wrist through impact is simple. It's with a really good pivot. So once I've made my backswing and I've achieved that bent right wrist at the top of my backswing, here, 
then my body's job on the downswing is to start to unwind. My arm's job is to let that golf club shallow a little bit, okay? And then as my body then continues to unwind, that club will attack the ball from a shallow position and I will be able to maintain lag and maintain that bent right wrist, which then allows me to strike the ball first and compress the golf ball. So you can see here how important this is if you wanna be a really good ball striker. Now let me show you one little simple drill that I like to get my students to do to help learn the feel of holding that angle and getting my body to turn is I just like them to preset that angle, give me a little chest turn going back, not a full turn, and then so preset the angle, little chest turn going back, and then a lot of chest turn going forward. And when I finish this golf swing, I just want to hold that follow through. That golf club is still in line with my left arm. My right wrist is bent. I want to go very slow here. If I hit this ball 20 yards, that's plenty far enough. This isn't about how far I'm getting ready to hit the ball. So here it is. Pre-hinge and bend, slight turn, slow forward, hold the follow through. I really feel when I'm doing that, that I am delivering this entire golf club, the handle, the shaft, and the club head with my pivot, okay? One more time. Pre-hinge, little turn, slow forward pivot. So there it is. The why we have to have a bent right wrist in the golf swing and the how to achieve the bent right wrist. Practice these drills, practice them slow, practice them correctly. I just put, did a video the other day about how to get the most out of your golf drills. If you wanna go back and check that out, you can do that as well. But take care of doing this properly so that you can get some long lasting effective results. I wanna thank you for coming to my video. Again, if you're new to my channel, please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. If you're a return visitor, thank you so much. I really do appreciate you coming in here. Uh, give me a thumbs up, drop me a comment below, and let me know how you're doing with your golf swing. I'll see y'all in the next video.